see headlines. I made it down the coast in 17 hours. Picking me a bouquet of dogwood flowers. And I'm hoping for rain later. I can see my baby tonight. So rock me a mama like a wagon wheel. Rock me a mama any way you How's it going? <clears throat> My name's Dustin Cormier, and welcome to How to Rock a Campfire. Today's episode, we got uh, a song called Wagon Wheel, uh, originally written by Bob Dylan, and apparently Catch Secor, I think his name is, uh, from the Old Crow Medicine Show. Uh, and that's kind of like the ideal, like that's the cover that I'm kind of doing here. Uh, Darius, Ruckler, Darius Rucker also does a cover of this, and it's essentially the same thing. So yeah, I'm just going to show you guys what I got going here. Um, one, two, three, four. Uh, it's basically, you know, four, four. And I'm also kind of emphasize. It's basically four, four, with a little bit of emphasis on the bass, and then it's like. Chuck, chuck, the chuck, the chuck, the chuck, chuck, the 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 chuck. So that's what I'm trying to do is kind of do a chuck and like an emphasis on the low strings, on the bass, the root note of the chord that you're doing, and then kind of hang on the trebles. It's like a sort of supportive as opposed to like chucky, as opposed to that direct. So anyway, that one, two, And that's pretty much, you know, that's pretty much all the chords right there. You just got to keep in mind that it's A, E, F sharp minor to the D, and then it's A, E, D for two. Um, and then the chorus is exactly the same thing. So it's pretty easy chords to figure out. All it is is simply a matter of knowing the chords, figuring out the strum, and uh, practicing. Songs like this, it's just a matter of getting those chords and then getting that practice in. Uh, I'm going to do it nice and slowly for you guys so that you can kind of see where I'm getting at. Um, oh, the last, the other thing I want to show is just little riffs that you can do in here, you know? That's the one I wanted to show you from that D, is you use your first finger to go on the second fret of the D strings, that E note, and then you use your pinky to hammer on to the fourth fret, and then you use your first finger to hit that second fret of the G string. things you can dance around with. It's basically all like A major pentatonic would be your best idea of a, a scale to play around with. Um, and it, I know it seems kind of crazy, like, you know, little all those little riffs where you know, I'm using my pinky to like kind of hammer on and stuff like that. It's tough stuff for a beginner, but eventually, you know, you get there. Just stick through it with practice and eventually you'll be able to do those little things that you see your favorite guitarist do. But for now, it's good enough to just do these chords like this, you know? To get a rhythm down and to be able to start singing and playing at the same time. And this song is a perfect example of a good beginner song in that way. It's just that F sharp minor's got a little bit of a, <laughs> a little bit of grit for a beginner player. Uh, if, the, if it's giving you a lot of trouble, what I, I, you know, I usually use my full first finger to bar that second fret all the way down. But if you want to make it a lot easier on you, you can, it, when you do that chord, just use your uh, third finger on the fourth fret of the A string and your fourth finger on the fourth fret of the D string. So that takes care of those two notes and you use your first finger, kind of support your first finger with the second finger and just push uh, the G, B and E strings all in that second fret, just your first finger by barring it. Right, so that's an easier F sharp minor, right? Because it's not as bassy, obviously. 
it sounds, it does the trick, right? <clears throat> anyway, so I'm going to do these chords slow just so you guys can see, get a good practice feel for this, the tune. One, two, wanted to show you that <laughs> slowed down so you get a feel for it now you guys are gonna hear the whole thing so this is wagon wheel uh, kind of uh, the old crow medicine show version uh, played by yours truly let me know what you think of it <clears throat>
Yeah, that'll do. I like that better. <laughs> Saved it! Kind of. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, Wagon Wheel by um, Old Crow Medicine Show, Darius Rucker, and Bob Dylan and stuff. Uh, yeah, hope you guys dug that. Uh, yeah, I guess the only thing that I forgot to say. One thing I like to do uh, is this little run is basically where I'm uh, coming from the A to the E to the D. F sharp, G sharp, A. F sharp. I'm just using like my first finger to go to the second fret of the E and then my fourth finger to go to the fourth fret of the E. Uh, so it's like in that uh, E to the D. And it kind of keeps the rest of the D chord there while you do it. Yeah, it's just kind of a cool cheating little bloop 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 little secret skadoodle. Top secret skadoodle. Anyway, folks, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys dug that, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, folks, just a reminder to check out my other channel, How to Rock Spirit, where I talk about everything under the sun, from astrology to mysticism to psychedelic yoga to practical materialism and philosophy, too. Hope to see you there. Namaste.